Hi. So what does it mean if something is reactant or product favored when we're talking about equilibrium? Um, well, here's an easy thing for you to memorize, but I'm going to show you how to figure it out. If K is greater than one, your equilibrium expression, that equilibrium constant is greater than one is product favored. K anything above one product favored. If K is less than one, then it's said to be reactant favored. Um, so what does product favored really mean? Well, this means when we're at equilibrium that you have more products than reactants. So I want you to look at this equation right here. N2 plus 3H2 yields 2 and H3. When this reaches equilibrium, go back in your memory. What's equilibrium? It's the equal rates forward and reverse. When reactants change to products, that certain rate equals the rate at which products go back to reactants. When those rates, the molarity per second, so consumed from reactants to products, consumed from products back to reactants, when that rate is equal, um, we have constant concentrations. We have constant concentrations because the change is the same. The change from reactants to products, products to reactants, that rate is going to be the same, which means you have constant concentrations. So when we're at that beautiful, um, when we're at that beautiful equilibrium, we compare amounts. Well, which one do you have more of? In this situation, notice K is significantly greater than one. So that tells us we have a lot more products than we do reactants when we are at equal rates. Now, look at this mathematically, you'll be able to figure it out. You'll recall that when we do K, it's always products over reactants. So I'm going to do P over R for products over reactants. If I have more products, okay, so I have a high concentration of products, small concentration of reactants, a big number divided by a small number gives you a number greater than one. K greater than one. So mathematically, there you have it, that you can make it make sense of, oh yeah, if I have more products, a bigger number in the numerator, it means I'm going to have a value greater than one always. So we say that's product favored. Now, reactant favored, that simply means when we reach that beautiful equilibrium, those equal rates, that um, there are more reactants than there are products when they come into that equal rate constant concentration. Remember, it doesn't mean same concentrations, it's just constant concentrations because the change from reactants to products, products to reactants, that change is the same, the rate is the same. Um, so take a look at this. This is going to be the dissolution of calcium carbonate. Its K value, 3.8 times 10 to the minus nine, significantly less than one. Wow, we have those nine decimal places there. Now we're going to move it. Let's look at our products over reactants again. So again, equilibrium, you know, it's products over reactants. <clears throat> so we reach this beautiful equal rate, um, forward and reverse, and when we, count the amounts. How much do we have of reactants? How much do we have of products? There's a huge amount of reactants here. So calcium carbonate, for all intent and purpose, it really is not soluble. Barely, barely, barely dissociates. So I have a huge amount of reactants, a small, tiny amount of products. Well, if you have a small numerator and a large denominator, the value is less than one. So K is going to be less than one. So again, you can think it out. Um, reactant favored, okay, that means I have more reactants. Products of reactants, large number in the denominator, large reactants, K is less than one. Um, so once you get this, you wrap your brain around this math, more products greater than one, more reactants, 